The Volkswagen Transporter was the Auto Express Van of the Year in 2016, so you can rest assured that it's very good at its job. But we wondered how good the Transporter would be at our job. Could Volkswagen's mid-sized panel van cope with the rigours of life on Auto Express? The best people to unearth the answer to this question were clearly the Auto Express film team, who were in the perfect position to put the Transporter through its paces. If the van could cope with our demanding schedule of location shoots and loading of heavy-duty lighting and camera equipment on a long-term test, that would set the seal on the Transporter as a van to be reckoned with. We needed a combination of cargo and passenger capacity, and as you can see from here, we've got a mix of a big load area in the rear and seating for three fully grown adults in the back with ample leg room for those taller riders. And there's space for two passengers and the driver up the front, albeit at a little bit of a squeeze. Access couldn't really be better with the transporter's wide opening sliding side doors and the huge tailgate at the back. One note about parking is that you do need to leave enough space to get this massive slab of a tailgate open. But once you do, you've got a large square loading space and a slightly cushioned floor. The van's capacity is a massive benefit for us because we are shifting around a lot of big, bulky, expensive equipment. So the low floor does make it easier to load things in. And the slight cushion is great because it stops our expensive gear from sliding around the back. You can even lift the second row of seats out, but they're really heavy and it takes three of us to shift them. But rather than going through that, we usually just fold the seats back down and stack things on top when we need more room. The Transporter's interior quality is already very good, but what we have here is a top specification Sportline model, so not your average van interior. This basically means that you get these amazing two-toned quilted Sports Lux leather seats and the sat-nav infotainment system. And your speakers in here are also pretty good. There's also plenty of storage spaces up front to put your lunch and essential road snacks. The sat-nav system does lag quite a bit and doesn't recognise a lot of the postcodes we put in, so instead we've been connecting our phones for navigation. Outside, there's 18-inch alloy wheels and lots of other add-ons to give a more dynamic look, with a combi body style, sportline trim and extras including LED headlamps and a full set of parking sensors, this is a £46,000 van. Under the bonnet is VW's BITDI twin turbo diesel engine with 201 bhp and the result is that it's a very quick van. The high specification of the Transporter Combi Sportline gets a Transporter's flagship engine and gearbox combination. The van can cope with a payload of over a thousand kilos and although we haven't come quite close to that, the van is regularly fully loaded with three passengers and a lot of equipment. It means the engine has to work hard but you wouldn't really know it. It stays quiet and there's strong acceleration when you need it. The van's relaxed character on the road is accentuated by a 7-speed DSG gearbox that eases its way up and down the ratios almost imperceptibly. We have officially loved driving the Transporter. There's a lot of power in that engine and it never really seems to struggle. Officially we do 45 mpg but we've been averaging roughly at around 29 mpg. Considering we drive in and out of London quite a lot with a lot of bulky heavy equipment in the back, I actually don't think it's that bad. For us, I don't think I could think of a better van fit for our purposes, but whether we could afford such a plush one on our budget, it's kind of another thing. If anything, it just goes to show how upmarket modern vans can be and still do the job that they've been designed for. So the Auto Express film team has met the Volkswagen Transporter and got on like a house on fire. This might be the van in its most luxurious and expensive form, but it's really the underlying qualities that have shone through on this test. The Transporter's space, build quality and comfort are common throughout the range and that's why the VW's mid-size panel van is so hard to beat.